What it do y'all, it's your girl Makeup and Travel and for today's video, your girl is here to bring you another video on my channel and today's video is going to be my February haul. Now, hmm, okay. Last month I did really really good at keeping my hauling small and minimal, mainly honestly because I had so much to review and test out and you know do behind the scenes with the products that I picked up in November and December that I quite literally just could not fathom bringing more stuff into my collection clearly i took that time in january and i did really good when it comes to makeup in my opinion i think i did really really good at really focusing in on only bringing in things that i truly truly wanted or really thought i would get a lot of use out of and i will go into those obviously in a second but the big problem was fragrance so i will be leaving the fragrances to the end um and i will be grouping with makeup and then the one pr that i got and then fragrance at the very end um fragrance is really going to have to be the product or the uh category that i really manage well um in the future because that is seeming to be the category that i'm more interested in buying right now um so yeah with all that said if you're interested in seeing what i picked up in the month of jan no, in the month of february let's get to it so So there is one random product um, that I picked up from Amazon. I use it when, for my nails and my previous set was just beyond, I felt like use. So I wanted to go ahead and pick up another set. And this is the reusable nail remover pads. I get these from the Sign Tribe and these are called Remove and Chill. And they're these really small, if I can open the tin, Good gracious. They're these really small, like, um, circular pads. They kind of feel like microfoam, if you, or not microfoam, microfiber, if you want, like, material kind of. And basically, what you can do is you can put your nail polish remover on here. I'll use this side so it looks better. Um, you put the nail polish remover, like, right on here and you clean your nails. And what you're supposed to do is, right after, I recommend washing this pad with water and soap i forgot about the soap on this side hence why it's like that but pretty much this can get super super grimy and i had my previous set i believe i looked back and i had them for six months so that's six months where i'm not continuing to use a whole lot of paper products and i'm just reusing one um kind of material product i feel happy about that um i haven't yet recycled or thrown away my previous set because i still do want to keep them maybe i can still find some way to get some form of use out of them but i did truly need a new set um as you guys know i do tend to repolish my nails at least twice a week if i am there and if i have the time i've been really really slacking lately but Nonetheless, it's a really, really nice product and I like to use reusable stuff as much as I can. Uh, so yeah, I picked that up. Now let's get into the makeup. So I picked up a couple of eyeshadow palettes. So let's pop those out. Well, let's do this because this is kind of easy. I shouldn't have picked this up. I shouldn't. It was way expensive and I justified it saying that I don't really buy makeup bags, which is valid. I really don't. A lot of the makeup bags that I have, I got for free, but I recently went through my organization of that area and I realized I have a lot of makeup bags. But either way, I picked this up. This is the Winnie the Pooh and Spectrum Brushes collaboration. It was just so cute. So cute. I plan to do um, at least one weekend slash week long trip in april and i'm just really really excited so so excited to do it and you know i justified that trip with picking this up I also did make some really cool um workout goals and so you know some of that will justify some of these purchases at least one i really really did pick it up um to celebrate that but We'll get to that next. Okay, so next I have three eyeshadow palettes that I picked up. One I picked up from Mercari. This is the Natasha Denona Gold Palette. I had previously tried to pick it up from a, another uh, seller and it didn't work out. This seller was able to get it to me without any problems. I think they might have used it once or twice, which is perfectly fine with me. I'm just really, really happy to be building this collection. I'm really, really finding so much joy in having her products and using her products as well so 
I really wanted to pick that up. And then randomly last month, uh, Sephora put the Lila palette on 50% off. And I know this is not the favorite for a lot of people for various reasons, but I figured since I am slowly building my collection when it comes to her that I wanted to go ahead and pick it up. I have already actually used this to recreate a My Perfect Valentine's Day palette. I posted it out on my Instagram. I don't think I ever did a video with it. I just didn't have the time, um, but I ended up using, I think, this shade because that's the only shade that's used or looks to be used. Anyways, really, really happy to have this one as well. Um, I think at this point, I pretty much have all of the ones that I really, really want. If there happens to be a Metropolis that is on like Mercari or something that's a decent price, then sure. Um, but I'm not press pressed to get that um, palette. Oh, and I never said I did not record this look, but I only used my um, Lime Crime um, XL2 palette in case you're wondering. Sorry about that. But everything else will be down below so that you can know what is actually on my face. The only other eyeshadow palette that I can distinctly remember that is in this pile, because my makeup is really small um, collection, is actually the Angelica Nyquist Hella palette. If you're wondering, I have now done two videos on this palette. The first one was kind of a uh, swatch comparison and a first impressions tutorial style and then yesterday I actually uploaded a three looks one palette so in case you are interested um, I have already done kind of the big ticket um, videos that I'm gonna do with this one I will be full on ranking and reviewing this in my like latest 10 palettes that I pick up I just need to do at least one or two more looks with that one to get my final final thoughts and then we will be good so I think I can finally get rid of this box yeah this is the box that I got oh and with that in case you care I also did get the scarf that went along with it and I actually do like the scarf I actually could have thrown that on my hair today I'm trying something new I'm always trying something new when your girl has a moment to breathe when it comes to my hair so yeah um excited about all of that stuff excited okay so then I made quite a few Sephora orders for me I did one where I picked it up in store and then I think I did one where I ordered online excluding the Lila palette because I don't even know if the I don't remember I don't remember let's get into it pull the samples out those will come next so I picked up a KVD brow pencil um, I've been really loving using brow pencils lately I've already went through one brow pencil this year I am on my way to finishing the next one and then I will only have two as backup which I know doesn't seem like that seems like a lot but I tend to it appears go through brow pencils at least every three months and I rather have the backup when I can so I did go ahead and pick up the KVD signature brow um, I got this in the shade graphite which is supposed to be for people with dark brown slash black hair and that's me my hair is not black even though a lot of people think that my hair is black it's actually dark brown um so i figured i would try this i've never tried this um brow pencil and it was on sale i think it was on sale for like half off so i figured why not pick it up while it's on sale i can now get rid of the packaging because it's a brow pencil I don't need to keep the packaging for any reason and I will put that in my storage area for when I'm ready to try a new product or when I need a new brow um, pencil also got the brow pencil from Kosis I had heard um, Teresa is dead really raving about this pencil and the Fenty Beauty pencil um, so I wanted to go ahead and pick this one up too and this one was on sale as well and this one is in brown black um, I was always interested I think when I talked about it in my must have must gag series I said I was interested in it but I just I didn't feel the need to pick it up because at that time I was still panning something else that I was using for my brows either way now I'm on this kick of really using brow pencils so I figured I would go ahead and pick up two while they're on sale um, and if I'm really interested in either or I will then continue to pick them up um, but it also will allow me to have kind of a uh, library if you will of knowledge where I'm determining if I like a pencil if I don't KVD tends to do a lot of sales on their personal website 
So I may really be into that brow pencil and then further subsequently pick up a whole bunch from the website when they're on discount. Okay, so I picked up a couple other things. Um, I picked up one shade from the Fenty lipstick and I got it in the shade She's a CEO. This was one of the main shades that I really, really wanted to test out. Um, and this is also one of the formulas that I really, really was intrigued by. As you can see, it's right up my alley. It's a beautiful, beautiful brown, but it's also, did I do something wrong? No, it's a beautiful, beautiful brown, but it's also like close enough to my skin tone that I'm actually gonna get a lot of use out of it. Not like this Marc Jacobs. So, really really like that i've worn it a couple of times it is i would say more of just like a cream lipstick i don't find that it has overly more sheen than a normal cream lipstick compared especially compared to the product that i'm about to talk about next um it's just a cream lipstick but it's really really nice and i actually like this formulation a lot more than her previous lipsticks but those i believe were actually mattes i did like them but in the moment i really need some form of moisture on my lips i can't stand a matte product on my lips another product that i've been really really wanting so i went ahead and picked it up is the huda beauty cream lipstick in the shade gold digger now this one once again is a brownie lipstick um and i've just been really enjoying bullet lipsticks one but also brownie nudes as you can see this pretty much blends in with my skin tone it's slightly a different undertone than i am i am i think it has a like slightly like more yellow undertone but it's beautiful it's so so beautiful now that one is definitely a satin sheeny lip gloss and in a bullets type situation and i'm really really enjoying that i've worn it a couple times as well on camera and off camera really nice formulation i think it actually stays on quite well too for the type of product that it is so really really happy about that and then there is a third lip product that i ended up picking up i told you guys i was going to pick it up in my must have mascara series and this is from merit beauty i picked only one i'm really happy and proud of myself for doing that and this is in the shade slip so this is what they consider like a lip balm and i would say that it really is now the difference between it's actually right there i don't even know if you guys can see the difference between that one and the huda beauty is i find that the huda beauty actually has more pigment to it whereas this one has the exact same formulation but it's more of a um light coverage so if we're thinking like if we're talking in like foundation um, coverage wise this is more of a light whereas this is more of a medium to full so that's how I would say that there also is a slight difference in the shades let me bring my camp my hand close so you guys can see alrighty so this is the Merit Beauty this is the Huda Beauty and this is the Fenty so they're all definitely in my wheelhouse when it comes to shades and formulations as well um slightly different and i think they all bring value i'm very very happy i'm proud of myself that i only picked up one of each range maybe in the future the uh, vib sale is coming up soon so maybe then i'll pick up maybe one or two additional shades of these lines if i prefer one line over the other and if i'm getting a lot of use out of one of these lines in this next month but as of right now i am very very happy with those shades and yeah i'm very very happy so then I also picked up um, some samples. I've been really loving putting those sample per point things in. I've been really just enjoying them. So I got a sample of the YSL Lash Clash mascara. I will never buy a YSL mascara. Honestly, I'm sure it's ridiculously priced and I just can't. I cannot. But I figured since I could get a sample, I really honestly hate buying high-end mascara so if i can get a sample of any of them i really enjoy that i also got a sample of a serum so i'll throw that um on probably tomorrow because that's a vitamin c i also got the rare beauty liquid touch weightless foundation sample i've been really trying to get quite a few samples of some foundations because i'm very very excited um, about potentially picking up a foundation in the future and i want to know which one is going to be the right for me so i got that one and i also got a sample of the fenty beauty ease drops um 
So we'll see. We'll see. I don't know how much I'm going to really be able to use of this and like really tell if I like it or not, but I got the sample. So we'll see. And then the last sample that I think I got. Um, no, no, no. I got another one. So the last like foilish sample is actually from Merit Beauty. I wanted to see if I could find a good maybe potential concealer shade because I actually did really like and I will be talking about it in the future. I really did like the foundation that they sent me. I like the I like it but it just wasn't the right shade for right now so I would love to see if one of these is a really good um, concealer shade and then if maybe this other shade which is amber is potentially a good foundation shade for me because I'd rather not like go through the hassle of buying a whole bunch I could go in store but honestly I just nine times out of ten you won't catch me in store for anything anything um, the last samples that I got from Sephora I actually got like a fragrance bag sample thing where they gave me a whole bunch of fragrances that I was either interested in or you know I was unbothered with trying so one was actually from Sol de Janeiro and this is their Coco Cabana cream um it smells okay it actually low-key kind of stinks in my opinion this one I actually prefer the original with the I think it's like an orange or yellow base either way like I said I'm going on a trip so and it's actually to a warmer climate so I will be taking this in there using it um and hopefully like the other one it does not mess with my skin I do have sensitive skin um and certain um soaps and stuff I just not soaps and lotions I just can't tolerate it will irritate my skin so hopefully that um smell that scent in this line does not do that it also gave me the Victor and Rolf flower bomb Eau de parfum I really like this but I did realize that they came out with some new um flankers recently so I don't want to necessarily pick this one up I want to smell those flankers before I potentially pick up one from this range they also gave me the Valentino voice Viv Viva I think this is okay it's nothing bad but it's nothing groundbreaking or extravagant um the Giorgio Armani my way not really pressed either and then they gave me the Joe Malone English and Pear and Freesia I have this in a full size so um really really happy with that I really enjoy getting samples um because then I don't have to blind buy or honestly go in store to smell it I can just spray it at my house in my leisure and then the one PR thing that I'm just going to throw in the middle and then we'll hit the fragrances that I picked up is from Merit Beauty so I did end up doing a whole video it was the only new makeup video that I did last month and it featured all of the products that I got from them I believe I believe I was able to remember to use all of them except for maybe one or two either way I'm really really enjoying quite a few of them I really like the um what is it the foundation and the highlighter stick I really like those uh the brow is nice nothing crazy but I do like it uh the lip gloss is fine I just don't like how little um product is pulled from it but everything else is pretty much good to go I will be like I said doing a kind of overall arching video maybe of Merit Beauty um I think there's only one or two things that I actually don't already have now that I actually picked up this lip um so maybe I'll pick them up who knows so really really happy that I was able to get those items and test them out and try them and I hope to in the future do a more thorough review of the brand and all of the products that I've been trying I think I've done now two new makeup videos and I haven't gone back to review any of those products I think what I'm going to do is do an overall arching video reviewing all of those products every three months so one more video and then at the end of this month or early next month I will review all of the products that I used in my testing new makeup video okay and so that was all of the makeup I did very very good I feel in the makeup avenue of things and it was really really honestly the fragrance that I did extremely bad in this month um, but I am excited and happy with all of the products that I did pick up so let's just run through it um, yeah let's just run through it I'm not gonna really show all of the boxes mainly because I have taken the time to test out all of these products um, and I don't feel like putting them back in the box just to show you um, unless they are currently in their box now the one product that I am slightly annoyed with myself is that I picked this up from Amazon so this is a Middle Eastern brand that 
has a fragrance called Coco Musk. Everybody has been raving about this um, in all the videos that I was really, really looking for a fragrance with a cocoa note. Amazon, the post said, showed the fragrance but when i went further after receiving it it was two bloody oils i don't really use oils ever it's a beautiful beautiful scent there's that vanilla in there there's definitely some cocoa in there those are the only two um notes that i'm really smelling granted i'm not really putting this on my body i do have something on today um but i am annoyed that it's an oil i really am that said I did get two. I'm going to put one in the giveaway for you guys. I'm slowly building that still, especially after the person who won never claimed the prize. So it's going to slowly just continue to build. Um, and this will just be in my collection. I definitely think there is a use for oils and there is a place for oils. I just prefer not to have oils. I rather just spray things on me. Um, so we'll see. Maybe I'm going to see if YouTubers have talked about putting oils in automizers is that a thing i feel like that's not a thing because i feel oil is too heavy to spray unless it is filtered but i will look into it if i can somehow put this into an automizer and spray it i will um because i'm already in the plan um to actually buy automizers for some other things um i picked up quite a few things from one more thing i actually two more things i actually picked up from um, mercari when it comes to fragrance the first one is i picked up this gift set for jessica um sarah jessica parker's stash it has the body cream and the shower gel as i just um, said my skin is very very sensitive to the point where I don't do a lot of scented products specifically lotions um, so I haven't even tried the lotion I could probably get away with the body gel though because I do um, use scented gels still that said I have tried stash and the thing that really pushed me over the edge to trying this because I had seen a lot of people really raving about this was the fact that somebody compared it to being a combination of um, by the fireplace and jazz club and i had just finished completely using my travel sample of jazz club and i really did want it but i also wanted to try something new so i went ahead and picked this up i don't smell that i don't smell it this smells a little bit a lot more um equivalent of the vanilla that you get in both of those scents the the brightness in both of those scents i don't get the like depth no so for me i don't get that but i do like the scent so that's thankfully a good thing um but i will be picking up a full size of jazz club either when it goes on sale or next year during the right season i don't want to pick it up now because i'm not going to be using jazz club right now i'm going to be using it most likely well, I don't have it, so I'm not going to be using it until I pick it up, but I won't really be in the mood to really pick that up until probably fall, winter next year. So that's probably when I will pick it up. Another thing that I picked up through Mercari is actually another chocolate noted scent, and this is called Chocolate Matte. And this is um, no longer available. And this has some floral that I'm not in love with um but it's okay i would say this is a better version of the kkw fragrance that i got what last month um and i detested it so it's not bad um but you know that'll definitely be something that i am mixing to get through it um and i will probably be working on panning that sooner rather than later actually which is slightly disappointing but i do enjoy scents i enjoy mixing and matching i enjoy putting on different scents throughout the day and eventually layering them up to an ultimate scent at the end of the day and then i like clean it all off so i'm not butthurt but like i would have been happier if i actually really enjoyed that okay then i went through and got four fragrances from fragrance net you guys know i've been really enjoying that service or that website and the first one i got is from rihanna and it is her rebel floor so after smelling the rihanna fragrance i was like well i would be curious to smell what her designer or celebrity scent is i like this this smells good this smells good you get like some orange maybe some like 
cotton or something it's a really good this is a clean scent it is very similar to the one that she has in her own range but this is so much better i think it's the citrus that i smell in here that makes it so much better and it kind of cuts that floral and that like clean note situation that i'm feeling so this can be easily an everyday scent for me. Um, I can see myself wearing this throughout the seasons. I think I will actually get through this quite quickly. Um, I've already made a nice little dent in it and this is when me trying these scents and also going back to some favorites that I already had um, while panning, fully panning another fragrance. Um, so we'll see, we'll see. This probably actually won't last very long in my collection, um, at least this size bottle. I may have to then purchase the full size because this was only like the 0.5 fluid ounce. I didn't want to get the full ounce no this is the one ounce i think there's also like a three ounce or something i didn't want to get the bigger size in case i didn't really like it um but i can see myself easily going through that quickly i also picked up an ud so I was watching a video by a YouTuber that I love. His name is uh, The Perfume Guy. And he was saying that this is one of those oods that he would recommend for people who are wanting to slowly venture in. Um, and this is, was on discount. It was like less than $30, I wanna say. And this is Oud Vanille by Frank Oliver. And this is a really, really interesting oud. So like he said, this is my very first oud. It is extremely strong. When I say spray maybe one on each arm and then maybe twice up here, do not do more. The first time I went through this, I had been in the mindset of overspraying because other fragrances were just so dull. I literally got immediately a headache. I had to wash the fragrance off because it was so strong. This is an extremely strong scent. In my opinion, I think the projection is quite nice and the longevity is quite nice as well. You get that oud, you definitely get the vanilla, and I want to say it like gives me the vibe that there's actually some form of liquor in here without actually having liquor in here. I also feel like there's some woodsiness in here as well. I really do like it, um, but it is definitely a deep deep scent um if you're one of those people who likes to categorize scent categorize scents from night and day that is definitely a night fragrance i also picked up majestic woods i am so happy i picked this up this smells so good so good um lauren may beauty has been raving about this and another youtuber i follow i can't remember her name she's been raving about this one as well and i finally picked up and I love it. I love it. It's really, really nice. Um, and there's some other ones in this range, but I think I'm going to be happy with this and potentially try some other brands and pick up some other things. I don't want to be too pigeonholed and get too many flankers. I think having one uh, scent in the range is enough. And if I'm excited to and if I'm personally excited about a flanker in the range that recently came out or a different thing, then I want to get through the one that I already have. I just, to me, it doesn't make sense. The last one that I picked up from Fragrance Net is Encore Noir, and this is their extreme version. It smells good. So this is another dark, sultry, I would say kind of unisex, leaning more towards male, very similar to this one over here, um, scent. But this one doesn't feel as strong. I definitely think I can get away with slightly overspraying this one. It just smells really good, really heavenly. There is some depth to this, definitely, but there is enough kind of vanilla light lightness to this that I don't feel like this overpowers me. Whereas, honestly, I think this could easily overpower me, and I think I will end up keeping this for an extremely long time. I don't think I will ever be able to truly get through this scent just because of how dark it is and how easy it is to overspray it okay two more and then we are finally done um i picked up finally the cal the kaoli vanilla people have always been raving about this and i never really gave it any credence because i didn't really think that i would enjoy um huda beauty's range but after really enjoying the fragrance or not the fragrances the eyeshadow palettes that i've been enjoying i figured let's slowly dive into her fragrance range and i really like this small size for only 20 dollars. i think it's a really nice way for me to know if i'm going to enjoy the scent and if i need it long term 
This is a vanilla that I like. So the key notes that they highlight are vanilla orchid, Tonka, Absolute, Brown Sugar, Amber Woods, and Musk. And to me, I really smell that Tonka, which is a really sweet note. Of course, vanilla, like once again, sweet. And then that brown sugar. I don't really smell any amber, but that may be because I'm looking to smell the very similar amber to the one that's in Invite Only. Either way, I'm really, really happy with the two that I've picked up. I may go ahead and sniff the one that she recently just dropped because that is perfect for the season that we're going into now. And I might just go ahead and pick up the similar size to this, but I am really enjoying her um, fragrance range too. So it's, it's quite interesting. And then the one thing that I picked up to kind of celebrate my um, fitness accomplishment. And I know it's weird to buy a fragrance for a fitness accomplishment, but I'm trying not to buy too many fragrance or too many workout clothes, even though I need some more. So leave that alone. Anyways, I went to Macy's and I wanted to smell a couple of different new scents. Um, and they also ended up having in store 10% um, cash back from Rakuten. And I smelled this and I love it. I do. This is the Too Faced fragrance. I did talk about this, I do believe, in my must have must gag. And I said I don't want to get it because I don't want to tell somebody that this is the scent that I have on me. And I really still don't. I don't. I'm not going to hold you up. I'm probably going to pretend that I forgot the fragrance that I'm wearing when if people ask me about this. But it smells good. It's a really, really nice elevated version of what I would say if you've smelt the KVD Saint scent, which I do have and I'm currently trying to pan that completely. This is an elevated version of it, which is quite surprising for me to say for Too Faced. I all of this is unnecessary. All of this unnecessary. I unnecessary. It's just about the juice and the juice smells good the juice smells good and then on top of that you know after paying an obscene price for this i also did get the little sample of the mascara i've tried the sample of the mascara previously i do like it and now i get another um, mascara to go through before i want to really buy a full size so that is the video these are all the products i picked up like i said like I said, I really went in on fragrances this month and I really want to pull myself back when it comes to that um, because I don't want to be in this mindset where I'm just continuing to buy fragrances. I am going through quite a few fragrances though too because I do wear fragrance every day, both day and night. Um, but at the same time, I don't want to constantly be buying them and constantly be panning. I want to be enjoying them. Um, so maybe I'll be slowly doing more sampler sets to curb my appetite in that avenue we'll see either way one last thing i wanted to say this is a really good safe fragrance for night i am actually currently wearing this today and i do enjoy it for the day but i also wore this last night to bed and it was really really nice um it's it's allowing me to wait for my ulta order which should be coming eventually um that has my number one nighttime fragrance um to date so that's all i got to talk to you guys about i hope you guys enjoyed this video um sound off down below if there's a product that you would love to see like a dedicated review on fragrance or otherwise i did pick up a little bit of makeup but not as much um so that's it that's all i got for you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys tomorrow for my new makeup releases video Alrighty guys, bye.